We're back. This is the third video in this updated series of what we have in stock. We went over summits in the first video and VPs in the second video. I believe what we have in terms of bridges was also covered in the summit video. And we are all sold out of souls. This video is going to be all about Ibex and Obex. This Ibex was dyed by someone. It's got some pink, it's got some purple dye, but then it's also got confetti mixed into it. 172 grams, medium, very medium. We've got some twins, some history here. Two Ibex, both from the 2012 Players' Cup, both the same kind of color scheme. 174 in firm, 176 in firm. And they are very firm. It's red, white, and blue Ibex here. 171 grams in medium. Really perfect medium. Plenty of give to it. Uh, this disc I had confusion about for some time. I thought the black flecks were in the rubber. They were just drawn on by someone. So this is the watermelon Ibex, 168 and very medium. If you want a watermelon disc and you don't want to pay what it costs to get one of those MVP Axiom Streamline watermelons, here you go. This Ibex, a little bit of blue at the bottom, some pink at the top, 157 and medium. If you have slow arm speed, if you know someone who's just getting into the game, between the dome on this and the lightweight, Perfect. Here's a half and half from 2013 at the Vibram Open. It's half medium, half firm, and 176 grams. Looks really cool when it's flying. Red and blue Ibex here. This one is 170 grams in medium. Very medium. This Ibex, two kinds of pink and some green on it with the confetti mixed in. 173 grams in medium, very medium. Here's one that's mostly blue, pink at the sides, orange at the top. Pretty cool back. 155 in medium, plenty of dome. Another one of those slower arm speed, newer to the game. The nice thing about these Vibra mid-ranges is that they really don't ever break in. Here's a baby blue Ibex. 156 in medium. Plenty of dome on it. Same thing. Easy flyer. New players. Slower arm speed. This one's cool. From 2013. Seated double showdown stamp on there. Love seeing that. 171 and medium. Very medium. Really cool colors on this one. Here's some twins from the later runs of Ibex. It's an infinite disc stamp on it. 178 and 177 grams in medium. Both very medium. Both of these would take dye if you're interested in dyeing something funky on there aside from that stamp. That's what's left of Ibex. Now, on to Obex. There was a run of Obex that was called Cowbex. It is super firm. This is from that run. You can see that light blue streak in it. It's one of the indicators of Cowbex. 172 grams and one of the firmest Obex you will ever feel. This Obex, great colors on it. Some pink and some purple. 178 grams and firm. Very flat on top. Very flat. Very overstable run of Obex. Here's another infinite disc stamp. This is on an Obex that's 177, and it's got the newer markings on back. It's one of the later runs of Obex. From the first ever run of glow discs by Vibram, we have an unthrown bag kept glow. 
173 grams. You see it's marked XLG. The G stands for glow. Here's a half and half from the Maple Hill Open. I believe this one is 2014. 174 grams. This lighter side would definitely take dye. Here's a cool one. It looks like the ocean. I'm sure the camera's not doing it justice. It's absolutely incredible coloring on that. But it's 175 grams in medium. Something special about this one. You'll see that there's no engraving on the back. So when Vibram was still sorting out how they wanted to make an overstable mid-range, they made them without any markings. Doesn't say Obex on the top. This was from the testing. Very cool piece of history right there. Last but not least in the mid-range box, this Obex pink, some nice waves to it. 170 grams in medium. Pretty firm for a medium, but still has some give. That's what we have for mid-ranges. Let me know if something caught your eye by leaving a comment. And you can always text us questions. We love talking about disc golf here. So feel free to reach out to us. Have a good day. See you in the next video.